Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I'm here to share with you guys a video about how I take care of my stamps. And I'm a little bit of a compulsive person. I like to keep things really neat and clean. Uh, and so you're gonna get kind of an obsessive uh, crafter's perspective on this. So if that's not you, then that's totally fine. But hopefully some of these things that I have uh, figured out over the last few years will be helpful to you. So first of all, what I've laid out here are a variety of different types of stamps. This stamp set from Quetzal Craft is actually a red rubber foam mounted stamp. And these I find really give great impressions, stamping impressions. They're clear, uh, it takes the ink really well, it gives up the ink really well on paper. Uh, so I love red rubber stamps. This is a white rubber stamp, also foam mounted, and I like these as well. It's the same kind of stamping that you get from the red rubber stamps. The one kind of slight negative thing for me is that I find that these are much harder to keep pristine, clean looking, uh, but I will get to how I do do that even with these white rubber stamps. Uh, and also you should know that sometimes stamps are sold without the foam, the cling part of the uh, stamps. These, This one in fact was not mounted and I added that cling foam. And I have other videos sharing how I do that. So I will link to those, uh, to that video in the description box below. But so those are the more traditional red rubber stamps. This is also what is usually attached to wood mounted stamps. The next is photopolymer clear stamps. Uh, I really like these because you can see through them. So if you're creating a scene, you can see exactly where each stamp is gonna be stamped. I think that they also give a really nice crisp image. Uh, the crispness of the image is less of an issue for me now because I do use a stamping tool like the Misty, but before that, <laughs> being able to see through the stamp was really important to me and the clarity of my stamping because I'm not a very good stamper. This next stamp is an acrylic stamp and you can see the difference. It's much more flexible and people think in general, I believe that these do not stamp as well in terms of the Christmas of the look of the stamp, but they tend to be much less expensive. And uh, I just wanna show you as a comparison, this is a smaller stamp, but there's much more rigidity to the photopolymer stamp than the acrylic stamp. I don't know if you can make that out in the video, but hopefully you'll be able to tell the difference. So the acrylic stamps tend to be softer, more flexible, and generally don't give as clear a, a stamped image. But if you have a stamping tool, it's really not that important and they tend to be much less expensive. I brought this stamp set out because you see the yellowing on this stamp set. Uh, it actually is really frustrating for me because like I said, I like stamps to be really pristine in their appearance. It doesn't harm them in any way and I don't know why some of the photopolymer stamps change color like this. It isn't from ink or anything, it's just it's aging this way and I don't know why it happens and it's from nice brands. Like this one is a Lawn Fawn stamp set and it's just completely yellowed over time. But like I said, it doesn't affect the stamp impressions uh, that you can achieve with these stamps. The next thing I wanted to talk about is how I clean these little tiny stamps. In particular, I, as soon as I finish stamping something, I stop my videotaping usually and I'll run to my bathroom sink, which is right uh, adjacent to my craft room. But for these little tiny stamps, I use this small little colander and I put them in here so they don't fall down the drain and I don't lose any of my itty bitty tiny stamps. And I found this to be really helpful because when you get little tiny stamps, that are clear like this, you can really easily lose them down the drain of a sink. So uh, I wanted to just share this little tip with you. I find this little small colander really helpful. In terms of cleaning, the first thing I usually do is right after I stamp something, I wipe it with a stamp chamois. Now this one is completely <laughs> blackened from all the ink 
and it's not actually one of those expensive stamp chamois and I keep it in this little plastic container that I hook onto my Rascog cart right next to my craft desk. Um, but this is actually an automotive, uh, the absorber. And I'll put a link in the description box to this as well. It's much less expensive. These things last me, this one has lasted me about a year or so already. And I think I can keep using this, but if I get tired of the black look, I can open up one of these, and this is huge by comparison. It's over three square feet. Um, it's 27 inches by 17 inches, and uh, it works exactly the same as a stamp chamois that's much more expensive. So you, I take this, I'm gonna cut it up into a smaller piece like this to make it easy to use, and this I think is a super alternative, much less expensive. And you can get one of these and share it with multiple crafting friends if you like. And like I said, it lasts for a really long time and it cleans the stamp beautifully, especially if you're using uh, like a Memento Tuxedo Black ink. It takes the ink right off of the stamps. I don't even have to then go wash it in the sink. Just wiping it with a stamp chamois gets all the ink off. Now, I did uh, want to share with you guys that the Stamp Chamois doesn't get the ink completely off if it's like a pigment ink. This is VersaFine ink, and these few stamps you can see are also stained. It's because I used a red pigment ink to stamp out these little hearts, and that just stains the stamps. There's nothing you can really do about that. Uh, <laughs> I've been told that if you use VersaMark first and kind of pre-treat the stamp, it is less likely to absorb the pigment ink. I haven't actually tried that. I've also been told that some people use a, uh, like a disinfectant, you know, those little hand wipe gels. Um, but I've also been told that that can damage stamps, so I don't use those. I do take off as much of the ink as I possibly can, and the way I do that is I take the Ultimate Craft Cleaner. This is ultra clean, and I found that this, there's a little bit of a strong smell, but it really cleans off the stamp. And for VersaFine ink on even this white, red, white rubber stamp, if I use a little ultra clean and scrub it, I use an old toothbrush. You can tell it's got absorbed some of the ink here, um, but I scrub that out immediately after I have finished stamping with it and it gets almost all the ink off. And then what I do is I take some body wash and I scrub it again with my little toothbrush, getting into the nooks and crannies, and then it comes out absolutely clean. Now, I don't know if it would come out absolutely clean if I let it sit and dry for several hours or something. I am neurotic about cleaning my stamp. So right after I finish stamping, I immediately uh, take my stamps to whatever cleaning solution I need. And like I said, for pigment inks, it is a combination starting with the ultra clean and then following up with the body wash. And I just scrub it lightly with a toothbrush and it gets everything spotless. So those are my tips for taking care of stamps. I hope you guys have found this helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys are having an awesome crafty day. Bye.